Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the song Last Call by Elliot Smith. We are in standard tuning, E standard. And um, I noticed that his guitar is not perfectly in tune um, on the record. It's somewhere between E and E flat, so you won't really get to play with a recording. And also on the live version at uh, Stinkweeds, where I learned this from, uh, it also is not 100% in, in tune. I wonder if he did that on purpose. But anyways, we can play it in standard tuning, simply. So, we have the uh, verse, which is quite simple. It has four chords, which is D, F, G, and B flat. And for the second round, we have D, F, G, A, B flat. So it's just between, we squeeze the A in between before the B flat. So it's a D, it's a D sus2 because we only play those two notes, but sometimes he he like occasionally adds the the major chord, but most of the time it's so we have two on the G string, three on the B string. And the, the rhythm is like a waltz. You have the root note, which is the open D. And then we play it like a waltz. Last call. So again here we have F, the F is the root note, and then we play like a waltz. Okay, so we bar the first fret, and then third fret, third fret, second fret. Last call to the middle. Ta -da. So here we have a G, third fret on the low E string, second fret on the A string, third fret on the high E string, G major, and then we have a B flat, so first fret on the A string, and then three, three, and three. Last call. Just, I would just do the power chord just with one finger for the A, two, so open A string and then two and two before going to the F, so uh, to the to the B flat. So in the live version, he sometimes does it with the with the bar chords. Yeah. So occasionally he um, mixes that one that one up. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the verse, and then we have the um, yeah the the other part, not really the chorus. Um, we have sleep to overtake me. So first we have G. As a as a bar chord, so we bar the third fret, then we go five and five on the A and D string, four on the G string, and then so this is G major, we go to G minor. So we lift up our middle finger. One sleep to overtake me. And then we have E flat. So we bar the sixth fret, and then we go eight and eight on the D and G string. Sounds interesting. So it's like playing A 
like this. So, a one. So it's simply E flat, then it's G minor, and then we have C, which we play like the E flat. Okay, so. Sleep to overtake me. This um this part going just drink and to drink and just want to continue. It's gonna be yester year soon. So that's F major, then E minor, so uh, E major, uh, two on the A string, two on the D string, and one on the G string. I play it with those with these three fingers because we go from F want to continue so it's a little easier to switch back and forth starting to drink and just want to continue it's gonna be yesteryear soon so here we have a G G major and C major so three two zero and one C major it's gonna be yesteryear soon Okay, so now we um, almost got everything. Um, so good as she made me. She made me. We, we stay on the G major. As she made me, and I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me. I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me. I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me. So we have the same chords here, but just in a different order. We start with a with a G minor. We we have then our uh, E flat back to G minor and then we have the C I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me I wanted her to tell me that she would never wake me yeah, and that's the last call by Elliot Smith of the very underrated Roman Candle album. easy Elliot Smith song like uh, compared to others this is this is very uh, <laughs> convenient 
just some chords. So yeah, uh, another great waltz from Elliot Smith. So thanks for watching and see you next time.